Nomadland, a film by Chloe Zhao, has just recently won the Golden Globe Award for Best Drama Film and the Critics' Choice Award for Best Picture. If there were any questions regarding which film was the frontrunner for Best Picture at the 93rd Academy Awards, then look no further than to Nomadland. In this video, I'll go over my opinion of Nomadland and what Oscar chances I think it has. But if you like this video and want to see more of this content, then do me a favor and click the subscribe button and stay up to date on all Lawless Films videos. Nomadland, a film directed by Chloe Zhao, starring Frances McDormand. Frances McDormand's character Fern has spent years with her husband in Empire, Nevada, whose residents work at a nearby gypsum plant. Fern's husband passes away shortly before the plant closes, leaving the residents of Empire without work, resulting in the eraser of the zip code and Empire altogether. With nowhere to go and no one to turn to, Fern adopts the life of a nomad, which is a person that goes from place to place with no real home. Instead, Fern lives out of her RV that she rented. She furnishes the vehicle with mementos, like her mother's plates, and drives the RV to places where she can find work if she needs it. She starts working at an Amazon warehouse, and it becomes immediately clear that she's not the only one struggling. Her co-worker friends reveal how little they have and how little they receive from Social Security. Fern soon finds other nomads like her, and they each pour their hearts and souls out as to who they are and what they've lost in life. There is a certain feeling of loss and regret baked into the premise of the story. A specific aimless quality to the characters where each of them know that they have problems, the world isn't perfect, and yet they aren't as happy as they'd like to be and have no clue what to do with themselves. The success of Nomadland is through the passive nature of the storytelling. The location of the story, the flat Nevada desert, emphasizes the themes of the film perfectly. Fern meets Dave, played by David Strathern, and they bond whenever they meet up or run into each other. Fern's friend Swanky reveals she has terminal cancer and wants her last days to be doing something she likes. So she goes out into the country to find the swallows that flew all around her. Fern is trying to find her place while listening to other stories and battling the stigma associated with being a nomad. At the end of the film, she is offered an opportunity to live with Dave at his family's house in California, but she sneaks away and visits the abandoned town of Empire to reminisce on her former life. Nomadland can be summarized by a quote near the end of the film. One of the things I love most about life is that there's no final goodbye. You know, I've met hundreds of people out here, and they don't ever say a final goodbye. They'll just say, I'll see you down the road. And I do. And whenever it's a month, a year, or sometimes years, I see them again. I can look down the road, and I can be certain in my heart that I'll see my son again. You'll see Bo again and you can remember your lives together then. The direction of Chloe Zhao and the subtlety of the performances are what makes this movie special. Aside from Frances McDormand and David Strathern, many of the characters in the film are real-life nomads, which only adds to the realism of Nomadland. I have also seen Chloe Zhao's film The Rider, which is also an excellent movie about a bull-riding cowboy that has to stop pursuing his passion. Both The Rider and Nomadland reflect on the inner self and what it means to have meaning. Themes like this are often explored in movies, but don't feel as personal as it does in Zhao's films. After prestigious award shows like the Golden Globes and the Critics' Choice Awards have crowned Best Director and Best Film to Chloe Zhao and Nomadland, is it an unstoppable force destined for the coveted Best Picture Oscar? Well, anything can happen from now until then, so I wouldn't want to get hopes too high. Oscar nominations recently came out, 
and Nomadland racked up six nominations in several key categories. It's nominated for Picture, Director, Actress, Adapted Screenplay, Cinematography, and Editing. While Nomadland is not my personal favorite film of the year, it's one of my favorites that's nominated for Best Picture. The only other film that seems to have a somewhat decent chance is The Trial of the Chicago 7, Maybe Promising Young Woman. The Oscars love a good courtroom drama, but if they didn't give Best Picture to the superior Aaron Sorkin courtroom drama, A Few Good Men, My guess is they'll probably skip this one too. Other films like Promising Young Woman and Minari are also checking the right boxes to be award contenders, but they somewhat lack the broad appeal necessary for a Best Picture win. Carrie Mulligan isn't sweeping the award shows like many said she would, and Minari has the issue of Parasite another foreign language film winning Best Picture last year. We always know that the Best Picture race comes down to one or two films. Other years, it was No Country for Old Men versus There Will Be Blood, King's Speech versus Social Network, Birdman versus Boyhood, La La Land versus Moonlight, The Shape of Water versus Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Roma vs. Green Book, 1917 versus Parasite. And now it's Nomadland ahead with the trial of the Chicago 7 or potentially promising young woman in second. Although this could be an Argo year where the frontrunner just keeps winning and winning. Now, Nomadland was not nominated for acting ensemble at the SAG Awards, which is usually a must for a Best Picture win. However, The Shape of Water defied those odds a few years ago. Is this the best awards season? No. Many of us didn't watch these films in the theater. Each ceremony is being done through Zoom, and many people still have other things on their mind. But that's not going to stop us from having fun making our predictions, and yelling at the TV when we're wrong. Thank you for watching. This is a Lawless Films video. If you enjoy this content, do me a favor and smash the like button and click subscribe to stay up to date on new upcoming videos. Thank you.